Lukash, why did you choose myth stories for your work experience? Well, because I've always been interested in myths, legend and fables, all the things I like, and I do like listening to stories, so I thought, why not? Why not indeed? Yeah. And what's actually your impression of what we do? Well, I think it's like, there should be more places like that in the UK, which tell stories like that and uh, pass on uh, the stories, I guess, because you get all these different morals, opinions, metaphors, uh, things like that, and I don't think there's enough people who can actually appreciate it. OK, so did you actually manage to find out what a storyteller's job entails while you were here? I have a brief outline of it, so I think telling people stories for them get a further understanding of what life is like in different places, not just England and what it was like in different time periods. Yeah, I suppose that's one thing about stories, isn't it? You, mm-hmm. uh, they do let you get into other people's mindsets. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Had you done any storytelling before you came across the myth stories? I told my classmates in school a few to stories, like a story of Joanna Vark and how she became the heroine she was in France. And some other stories I told to my friends too. Um, I told one I told here about Tomo and Amaya because this is my favourite story of all time. <laughs> yeah, it is a really good tale actually and yeah. I'm really pleased that you've sort of added it into our Camish Dubai library because then other people can enjoy it as well. It's not a story that I knew before you told yeah, it. It is very uncommon. How did you enjoy telling it to the young storytellers at the story, Young Storytelling Club? I liked it. I felt like I could express my passion for it um, and spread it to the people there. Would you recommend work experience at Myth Stories? I, I know a few people probably enjoy it. I, I have a friend who tells his classmates all the German stories that he really enjoys that sort of time period. Do you mean the kind of, what I think of as the, as the Wagner stories, the Ring Cycle and Sigurd and Fafnir and those types of tales, or are they yeah. more folk tales? More modern ones, like from the 20th century. Oh, they're real life stories? Yeah. There's some of them and so some fairy tales, things like that. Actually, you've got to bring him in here because I'd love to hear them myself. I'll see what I can do. Definitely. And in your younger brother as well, you said that you'd quite fancy sending him along to our young storytelling club. Yeah, because I saw there's a lot of interaction there with others and he's he doesn't really like going out anywhere. He prefers to sit in on watching uh, YouTube on his tablet. So it would be a good way for him to interact with others more and build up confidence. Now, I know you go to Creative Writing Club because mm. you've talked about that quite a bit. Would, so would you consider a career in the art? Yeah, I, th- I think I would. It, it seems like an interesting career to pursue. So maybe because it's something new and it's interesting and not as generic and, and it, uh, you pass on your experiences to other people, not just a representation of something. Uh, tell me, will you be coming back to Myth Stories at all? I might visit with my brother and his friends because they might find it interesting too, because I'm sure they'll enjoy it. And have you enjoyed your week here? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I like, really liked it. It was a new experience, it was something new. It wasn't quite what I expected when I came here, it was, I think, beyond my expectations. But yeah, I never expected to do, like, you cannot niche by. Great, thank you.